Hello and welcome to the HTML5 video series. My name is Brad Traversy and I'll be your instructor throughout this course. Uh, this series includes five chapters with three to five sections in each chapter and I will briefly outline the chapters in this video. So what do we learn? We're going to learn HTML in full from basic standard tagging system to the document structure and then we'll pro progressively move to more complicated features and ultimately we'll be learning the new HTML5 features like geolocation, and canvas, uh, application cache, stuff like that. So we'll basically be learning everything there is to know about HTML. And along with that we'll be learning about CSS. We'll learn the standard CSS selectors and in methods and, and uh, in syntax and we'll also learn about some of the new CSS3 features and elements and selectors um, and also we'll be learning JavaScript um, I know that this is an HTML video but when you're using HTML5 uh, HTML5 is good for the markup and the layout and the presentation but JavaScript ultimately we need to use some JavaScript to make it work to process it. So we will be learning some JavaScript. Okay, so in each chapter, in each section, you'll have some program files. And we go, we're going to be building this. Our main project is going to be called the Blue Developer Directory. And what it is is it's a, it's a static website with some dynamic HTML5 components. Um, we'll start out with just building, say, a table for the site, or then we'll build the co contact form. We learn about forms. And then in the, I believe it's the second chapter, we'll start putting it all together and we'll build the home page. And then chapter three through five, we'll be adding HTML5 elements to it. There are a few sections, I think, such as the canvas section, when we learn about the canvas feature that we'll be doing a small side project um, that, that doesn't have anything to do with the Blue Developer Directory because there are a few things that we're learning about that I couldn't really implement in this website so we'll just have some side small projects for those aspects so chapter one chapter one we're gonna learn HTML from the very beginning we'll have the introduction and we'll learn about certain tags, paragraphs, headings, stuff like that. Uh, how how a HTML document is is formed with the HTML tags, the head body tags. Um, and in section two, we'll actually build a web page, a one page website, um, which will have an image. We'll integrate an image and some taggings, some tags. Uh, in section three, we're going to learn about tables and lists. And in section three, we're actually going to start building our, our list of developers on the Blue De Developer Directory. So it'll be a table with developers along with some information, maybe the, the city they're in, um, stuff like that. And then in section four, we'll have the forms and input we'll be learning about basic form and input. We're not going to touch the HTML5 new input types or anything like that yet. We're just going to learn the basic syntax of, of a regular HTML form. And we'll probably do the contact form on the, on the Blue Developer website. So some real good foundation work. Uh, chapter 2, we'll be learning more about CSS. Uh, we'll have kind of an intro to CSS in section one and in section two we're going to learn about separating our content with divs and span tags and get, get getting the document ready to um, add a style sheet to and then in section three we'll learn in-depth CSS which will be external style sheets and all of that good stuff and then in section four we will be putting our site together we'll be putting the blue developer directory website together. We'll build the home page, we'll, we'll style the home page, and we will also add a menu structure and then we'll add the the 
tables and the forms that we created in chapter one to the website so um, it's, it's going to be really cool to have everything just put together and chapter three is where the chapter three is the hard part it's where we introduce HTML5 and all the new features um, standard HTML is pretty easy to learn uh, HTML5 has a little bit more of a learning curve because you need to also learn some JavaScript and in some cases some serious CSS so it'll be a little challenging but um, I think that we'll, we'll make it through and we'll explain things the best we can and section one will be a basic introduction of what HTML5 is and what it can be and what it can be in the future because um, it's definitely we're in the beginning stages of it now so I believe that we'll, it's gonna take us um, it's gonna take us far in the in the web development world and section two we'll have ta new tags and elements uh, which will be like the new header footer tags um, stuff like that and then in section three we'll have the new input we'll have the new form stuff which is the input type we have the new email input type or or um, what else is there the, f the, f the phone number email the phone number input type uh, stuff like that all the new form stuff we're actually gonna convert the form that we built in chapter one into an HTML5 friendly kind of format so that'll be fun Chapter four, we're gonna start with learning about canvas. Um, we're gonna make some lines and shapes and we're even gonna do some animation with JavaScript. Um, section two, uh, we're gonna show you how to detect certain features in your browser to make sure that your browser can do these things, these new HTML5 features. And we're also gonna learn basic drag and drop, how to grab something in your browser and, and bring it over and set it somewhere um, which will probably be a side project because there's not really much room for that in the main project we're going to be building um, HTML, HTML5 media features which is basically the video and audio uh, new tags and we're going to be implementing those we're going to be uh, implementing a video into the about page using HTML5 and JavaScript. Uh, section 4 will be SVG which it will be about vector graphics and similar to Canvas but different um, and we'll, we'll be doing some JavaScript with that as well. In chapter 5, the last chapter, we're going to learn about geolocation which is um, you've probably gone on websites where a, a, a little tab pops up and asks for the, your permission to, to, to grab your location so they can use it somehow on the website and that's that's the new geolocation feature which is really cool and we're gonna get into that and we're gonna learn how to use it to put where we are on a map um, I think we're going to be integrating it into the registration form on the blue developer site so that we don't have to input our location it can actually find it for us and then place it on a map and section two is web storage uh, which is basically it's gonna it's gonna replace JavaScript cookies it's it'll allow us to put f files not files but values um, on users local machines on their browser and then retrieve it at a later time when we need it uh, if you wanted to put like a welcome Bob at the top of the website it, you know it could get his it could get the user's name and then display it and then we're gonna learn about application cache which is all about um, offline able pages so we can have so we can cache our sites our pages so that people can access them even without an internet connection and finally we're gonna get into the HTML5 mobile development world and we don't have a project in that particular section because it would just be too much to to build a, a an actual mobile application but we are gonna go over it um, we're gonna go over everything and, and how you would actually implement it and what it's doing what HTML5 has been doing for us for the mobile world um, so all kinds of information so that's it uh, 
now let's go and let's go start learning some HTML.